Welcome, I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of December 2023. And uh, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you check out my cooking show channel, the Kitchen Witch Supernatural Cooking and Tarot Show. I just launched that channel and we're going live this Sunday at noon central time. You can check out all that information um, on the community tab um, of this channel. So hope to see you all there. Um, this is a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Keep an open mind. Remember, not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, personal reading information, if you're interested in getting a private reading with yours truly, there is a link to my website in the description box under the video. So let's see what's going on for you at this time. Love and relationships for the sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. We'll pull an overall energy message first. And you've got fire, which is your element. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Okay. Um, well, I feel, one, that spirit is validating all of the beautiful candles, which also smell amazing, on my uh, tablescape here for Christmas. Um, I also feel like somebody is needing to slow down a little bit. I feel like you don't need to be in such a hurry. Somebody's running around like their hair's on fire. Um, someone feels like they're putting out a lot of fires. You might have a lot of problems that you're trying to work through at this time. You could be dealing with someone who might be another fire sign or have a lot of fire in their chart. Maybe another Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is literally a firefighter, an EMT, um, might work in emergency services. I, somebody else got this card in their reading, and I can't remember which sign it was. Um, but just slow down. Someone might have been reckless with your heart. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, or somebody was somebody else might have been reckless. Um with something that has caused you some uh, problems because of their their uh, carelessness. And then you've got the wolf, beware who you trust. So I feel like, and we're just going to, I just wanted to show that to you, but it is here. There's some trust issues. There's a lot of trust issues here. Maybe somebody needs to apologize for what they've done. They need to earn your trust again. You've been burned before. That's why you're not trusting. OK, 
Okay, off the bottom you've got the Eight of Swords. Hmm. And then you've got the Ace of Swords. All right. Truth shall, sh shall set you free. And then you've got the Nine of Wands. Fight fire with fire. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is going to work out. It's just taking a long time. You need to slow down here. And I was kind of picking up on that energy. Somebody feels stuck, trapped, overthinking something. And now they're trying to bring more balance back. But somebody is not giving up. They're persevering here. You've got the Wounded Warrior, Nine of Wands. This is your element of fire here. Um, you've gone through a lot of stuff that doesn't kill you but makes you stronger. You're not giving up. This is perseverance, tenacity. Okay. You've been through the battle. Okay. It's not over yet. You're almost there. But like I said, you're not giving up. You do you just, it's, I feel like somebody is experienced. They've been to this rodeo before. And it's, it's made you mistrustful of people. Because people have been reckless with your heart, Leo. Leos wear their hearts on their sleeves. They're they're the the love lovers of the universe. They just have so much love to give. They're generous, kind, compassionate, empathetic. But you don't want to piss off a Leo because we do have tempers. We do have a temper. I'm Leo rising and Venus myself, so. Um, your rising sign is kind of what you present to the world. And it's like somebody's like overthinking something. Maybe, you know, if you made a mistake, you know, if you thought you were reckless about something, don't beat yourself up. We're human. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Okay, just take this as a lesson and move on. Okay, you do have stability coming back in. You're getting your balance back here. Here's the Ace of Truth, Clarity, and Victory. There's an opportunity for clear communication to get yourself out of mental jail here. <laughs> Don't keep yourself stuck. Don't. Somebody's just like overthinking stuff. They're not sleeping at night. This almost feels like Nine of Swords energy. There's feelings of insecurity, inadequacy, but you're not going to give up. You're going to fight this. Like somebody's battling the head and the heart here. You know, and I feel like the advice here is just to take your time and slow down. Okay, don't give up. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Mm. Sorry, I'm chilly, so I'm having some hot tea. A spot of tea. All right, let's uh let's clarify some of this here. You don't have a lot of majors. If like this is just some everyday mundane annoyances, petty hassles that you're dealing with, or problems, or just annoyances that you're having to deal with, you know, like you're just putting out fires right now. It's like every time you turn around, something else comes up. And it's like you barely have a minute to catch your breath. But it's going to work out here. You're, there's going to be victory and clarity here. You're going you're gonna to win. Things are slowly going to get better here. All right. Let's see. why. What is this fire about? Four of Cups. Okay. This is about leaving your emotions out of it. Just taking a step back and just sitting and being. I feel somebody is getting tired of not being able to trust people. You know, they, they're tired of feeling rejected. Um, and just tired of feeling like they've missed out on an opportunity. Somebody feels like, they need to, they've been like dragging their feet with this relationship. And 
they feel, you know, they don't want to mess it up again because, you know, they got to earn your trust. And so maybe they need to take, you know, you feel like this is never going to happen for you. Or you feel like this person is never going to step up their game here. Sometimes it just, this just seems hopeless. But speak your truth. Don't be afraid to ask for what you need. You want the truth and you want clarity here. And this is almost like Queen of Swords energy. I mean, if you look at the at her face here, I'm sorry about the glare. But look at her face. She's like, she's like, come at me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you're not you're not having it. It's like you you've you've heard this crap before, and I don't know if somebody's like trying to catch you off guard or catch you off balance here, but you know that's enough of that. Why is this Eight of Swords here? What's got you all up in your head? Five of Rings, money. Somebody's worried about. There's like lack mentality. But this is also financial recovery. Notice she's laying down. She might be in bed. He or she, this person's in bed. Okay. Recovering from something. You know, trying to work through these feelings of lack, scarcity, isolation. But five, five is a number of change, and you're, you're going to make a comeback here. I feel maybe the last five years have been really challenging for you. But you are making slow and steady progress. Okay. This Knight of Pentacles is holding a scythe. It looks like sort of like the death card. Just cutting things out that don't serve you anymore. Cutting out this negative energy. You are making progress. It just doesn't feel like it, but you are. What's this Two of Pentacles about? This multitasking, having to balance everything. Eight of Wands. You're destined for victory and success here. Things are going to take off quickly. Once you, once you get your balance here, you, you're meant for success in love and in career here. Things are taking off quickly. There's a lot of passionate back and forth communication. Cupid's arrows in flight. For Quick forward movement. Weighing out the pros and cons here. So... Like I said, just hang in there. You're you're right now, you're like persevering right now and getting through this this energy. And things are gonna take off quickly here. Um I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say there's gonna be a lot of movement within the next eight weeks. Just to take a peek at the bottom of the the main deck, you've got the three of wands here. So yeah, your ships are coming in here. Your your prayers are being answered. It's it, you can see signs of progress and change, but again, you've been hurt so much that you don't trust it. This person or whatever might might be at a distance from you. They may be at a physical distance, or they might seem emotionally distant. So just slow down. Okay. Take some time to rest and heal. Let's get some advice. This isn't the greatest. This isn't one of your greatest readings, Leo. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. You're tough. You're going to make it. Religion. Canon, rules, commandments, have faith. This is about having faith, believing. Tune into your spirituality. 
Five of Rings is someone who is disconnected from spirit, divine source energy, their soul. Do what you need to do, whether whatever spirituality feels like or looks like to you, you need to get in touch with your spiritual side. Meditate, pray, but have faith that everything is going to work out the way it should. Let's uh, get some love cards here on this love messages for you. Got letter, a message or contact from your love is on its way. You're going to get some communication here um, and you're not going to trust it. Chance, roll the dice. This love is here to take a chance. Playing for keeps is anyone's luck. Somebody's going to take a risk here. Self-love. Self-love is the cornerstone of sharing true love. Cherish you. Okay? Don't put up with any BS. Don't put up with people who are out here doing what they want to do. You know your worth. You know your value. On the bottom is fidelity. You are the only one your love chooses to be with. So this, this might be conflict around commitment taking a relationship to the next level, or making amends. And it could be a soulmate coming back from your past. They can't stop thinking about you and, you know, everything that's happened. And they're conflicted. So they're, I think they're trying to figure out what they want here. You might be trying to figure out what you want. But it's going to work out. Just take your time. Slow down. Don't rush. Okay. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Um, until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.